You want me to put the hammer down? The Marvel Cinematic Universe has seen a fantastic lineup of A-list actors who have embodied iconic characters for years. Robert Downey Jr.'s charismatic Tony Stark, Chris Evans' steadfast Captain America, and Scarlett Johansson's enigmatic Black Widow are just a few examples of performances that have become ingrained in our hearts. Which is why Marvel should know, without a shadow of a doubt, that replacing these beloved A-list actors with C-list counterparts is a monumental task. The legacy of characters like Iron Man, Captain America, and Black Widow, portrayed by Robert Downey Jr., Chris Evans, and Scarlett Johansson, respectively, has been etched in cinematic history. The emotional depth, the nuanced performances, and the sheer dedication these actors brought to their roles are unmatched. As fans, we've journeyed with these characters for years. We've laughed with them, cried with them, and watched them evolve. We've witnessed their triumphs and tragedies their growth, and their vulnerabilities. These A-list actors have become synonymous with their superhero alter-egos, and the thought of someone else stepping into those shoes is met with mixed feelings. It's not just about acting, it's about the emotional connection we've formed with these characters. It's the charisma of Robert Downey Jr. that made Tony Stark more than just a billionaire playboy. It's the unwavering integrity of Chris Evans that defined Captain America and Scarlett Johansson's portrayal gave Black Widow the depth we craved. These actors didn't just play superheroes, they became them. They inspired us, motivated us, and left an indelible mark. So, while C-list actors may have their merits, it's an uphill battle to recreate the magic that these A-list actors brought to the MCU. The torch they carry is a heavy one, illuminated by years of storytelling, character development, and emotional resonance. Now let's dive into the aspect of why many people are resistant to the idea of these hand-me-down actors in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The term hand-me-down itself carries a certain connotation, implying that these actors are inheriting roles rather than earning or originating them. This perception can create negative sentiment in the minds of fans and critics alike. One of the primary reasons behind the resistance is the fear that hand-me-down actors might not bring anything new to these iconic roles. A-list actors often bring their unique charisma, interpretation, and personal touch to the characters they portray. Fans grow fond of the depth and nuances they add to these superheroes. When a new actor steps into these roles, there's a concern that they might mimic their predecessors rather than offering a fresh take. Moreover, the term hand-me-down often suggests a lack of choice or creativity. It implies that the casting decision is made out of convenience rather than a passionate search for the perfect fit. This can leave fans feeling like the studio is taking shortcuts, especially if they're not familiar with the work of the hand-me-down actors. The attachment fans have to. The original A-list actors is a significant factor. A deep emotional connection has developed over time, and the prospect of these actors being replaced can elicit strong negative emotions. It's not uncommon for fans to be vocal about their resistance, expressing their concerns online and in fan communities. In some cases, these hand-me-down actors may have faced previous career setbacks or might not have enjoyed widespread recognition. This can lead to skepticism about their suitability for these highly visible and beloved roles. Ultimately, the resistance to hand-me-down actors often boils down to the fear of change and the desire to protect the legacy of the original portrayals. While it's essential to give new actors a fair chance, it's equally vital for Marvel to acknowledge and address these concerns as they venture into the future of the MCU. Here. Oh. You brought a spear in here! You brought a spear in here! I like it! I disagree. Marvel's dedication to diversity is evident and laudable. The studio has made notable strides in promoting inclusion, both in front of and behind the camera. 
However, the concern arises when fans feel that these casting decisions are driven more by a desire to meet a quota or make a statement than to find the best actor for the role. When hand-me-down actors are hired primarily because of their background or demographics, it can lead to the perception that they were not chosen based on their talent, experience, or suitability for the character. This perception can undermine the credibility and authenticity of the MCU's commitment to diversity, causing fans to question whether these actors were cast for their abilities or to fulfill a checklist. In some cases, the pressure to be progressive can inadvertently backfire. If hand-me-down actors are viewed as token choices, it diminishes their own achievements and undermines their hard work and talent. It's crucial to remember that all actors, regardless of their background, deserve to be recognized for their skills and dedication rather than just their demographics. The insistence on progressiveness should not come at the expense of the storytelling quality. Fans are more accepting when diversity is seamlessly woven into the narrative and characters are authentic and well-developed. Casting choices should feel organic and enhance the storytelling rather than serving as a distraction. Hey. You don't do... I hey, do all my stunts. I did, I did my stunts because I thought that that's what everyone did. Uh, and then... Tom, Tom Cruise over here? No, I'll be the first me, not the next Tom Cruise. Thank Ooh. you very much. Wow. Yes, I can definitely smell shite. In some cases, C-list actors who have stepped into prominent roles have exhibited toxic or unprofessional behavior, which can be a source of discomfort for fans and a point of contention within the industry. Such behavior includes public conflicts, inflammatory statements, or a lack of professionalism on set. For fans, who often invest emotionally in the characters they love, any negative associations with the actors can tarnish the viewing experience. It's essential to remember that the MCU's success is built on more than just the characters and stories. It's also about the actors who bring those characters to life. Toxic behavior from these actors can undermine the immersion and escapism that fans seek when watching these films and series. Moreover, the behavior of actors can have a real impact on the success of a project. Disruptions on set, conflicts with co-stars, or unprofessionalism can lead to delays, additional costs, and creative compromises. This has consequences not only for the actors, but also for the crew, the studio, and the fans who eagerly await new content. While it's important to acknowledge that not all C-list actors exhibit toxic behavior, instances of such conduct have led to concerns within the Marvel fandom. The MCU's reputation for professionalism and high standards is part of what draws fans to these films and series. Any deviation from these expectations can result in disappointment and skepticism. In conclusion, the path to replacing A-list actors with their hand-me-down counterparts is fraught with numerous complexities. It will continue to be a subject of intense scrutiny as the MCU moves forward, navigating a delicate balance between preserving the past and embracing the future. Well, that's it for today. If you enjoyed this discussion, don't forget to like and subscribe for more engaging content. Your support is greatly appreciated.